So what Jeremiah and I accomplished is really amazing. We sequenced and assembled the largest genome of any organism that's ever been assembled on planet Earth. The organism that we sequenced and assembled is the Mexican axolotl. It's very unusual salamander, comes from Mexico. It's been in captivity for over 150 years, and it's a model in biomedical research. The reason why this is interesting is that axolotl has a really big genome. So they, each cell in an axolotl has 10 times more DNA than, a, than the same cell in a human, which makes this a really challenging job to figure out how all that DNA is arranged onto only 14 chromosomes. The axolotl provides the best model for studying tissue regeneration. So they can regenerate so many of their body parts, their limbs, their brain even, their spinal cord. And so having a genome assembly now really is a game changer for the axolotl community. Maybe it's possible that we could do what an axolotl does. You just tell my arm to turn on a few extra genes after I cut it off and it comes right back. So, I mean, that's the sort of long-term kind of what people have been dreaming about for 150 years. So we see that there will be clinical applications for our research. Now that we have the genome sequence, we can study the genes that are turned on and turned off during the regeneration process. And then before we had this assembly, we didn't have complete models of those genes. We didn't have information about the DNA that flanks these genes and actually regulates their behavior. But now we have all of that.